Okay, welcome to stage five uh, of our tic-tac-toe program. Um, so far, we have created a functioning tic-tac-toe program where the uh, computer, or actually where two people play against each other. So I could be X, I'm gonna go one, Y is gonna go in two, or sorry, O, keep doing that. Uh, so X go in five, and O will go in four. Of course, that's a terrible move because now X is gonna win. Okay, so X wins, congratulations. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to actually create our own uh, tic-tac-toe playing computer. So it's got kind of a little bit of a game AI. And I'm just going to start you out with this. We're just going to make a very, very simple game AI. And then you're going to kind of have to finish that one up yourself and think about uh, how that's going to work. Um, so I'm going to change that to player, actually, because that's what we used up here in the previous one. I'll save that. So what we want to do, um, in our program so far, we've actually get player O input. Okay, so instead of doing this like this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have the computer do it for us. So we're going to create a function that says here, get computer move board and player. Okay, so. I'm going to put that up here. Okay. So to make it really, really simple, what I could do at this point is I could just say, uh, let's say move equals uh, random dot rand int one comma nine. So return move. Okay. So this is a very, very, very simple it's not even an AI, it's just a random number. So it might return the same number that it did before. It might, or yeah, so it could go and try to go in the same spot several times. Um, it might uh, try and go where X is. Um, so we'll have to check for that. So, so what I'll do is I'm going to take out this and I'm going to say choice equals get computer move board. And I want it to check for because in this in this particular game, the computer is O. Um, so later it might be possible that you know the computer can go first. You could program it that way. Uh, but for this one, we're going to say that the computer is O. So I'm going to get the computer move. I'm going to send it up to uh, our function, which I went too far. Get computer move, and it is going to return a random integer from one to nine. So we're still going to check and see if it's because like if our see if our algorithm let's say is or our AI is wrong, we don't want it to be able to put uh, to put a, an O in the wrong space. So I'm going to save that and let's try it. See what happens. Okay, so I'm going to be X. Okay, so O went to five. That was actually a pretty good move. Um, I'm going to go to three. So you can see O went to four, which really isn't a good move. Um, I'm going to block it just in case. Six. Okay, so it went down there. So now, if O were smart, it would have blocked me or tried to block me. Um, so I can block it here. I can try and go here and see what happens. Um, seven. Okay, so you saw that there. It was real quick. It said, "Sorry, that space is not empty." So O actually tried to choose a space that was already not empty. So let's just go ahead and put it out of its misery. Okay, X wins. So, so this shows us that our system is working. Okay. So what I would do is up here is I would start thinking about what's my strategy. And uh, if you were in my class, we talked about a good strategy or we came up with our own strategies. So I might say if uh, the center uh, square is empty, choose that. Okay. So, so I might say so if board five equals space return five okay otherwise okay so once we hit the return function is done it ignores all this stuff but if you want to do you know make it look good programming wise I can say else move equals random let's try that So I'm going to go to 1. So you can see how the computer went right to that center square. So I'm going to 
I'm going to stop that just to prove it's, that it works every time. Okay, so it always goes for the center square if it's full. Otherwise, it gives us a completely random number. Okay, so you want to think about what's a good strategy. Um, now, I'll give you a hint here. So while true, move equals random. So, so let's prevent it from if move. Uh, so comment. So if the move is blank, go ahead and return. Otherwise, finished. Otherwise, try again. So, so if move, sorry, board move. So if it's a space, I can return move. And just for good measure, I'll hit break. Um, but it should not get to that one. So let's try that. So this will just give us a random number until as long as it's blank. Now I have to be a little bit careful with this, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, um, and probably in another video. But uh, for now, let's leave it at that one. Because if, if the board's full, we actually should check and see if the board's full. Um, if the board's full, then the game has to end. But uh, hopefully it shouldn't get to that point. Okay, so let's try it. What was it? Okay, one, two, uh, four, seven. Okay, X wins. Okay, so, so far we haven't seen it. the O going into any, you know, taken spaces, which is good. Three, six, X wins, congratulations. Okay, so this is kind of an example of a partial game AI, which it doesn't play too, too badly, but uh, it's lost every time to me so far. Um, so you just want to think about, you know, what's a good strategy? What does the uh, computer have to look for? A win, it has to look for a block, and try to think about how you could do that uh, in the computer language. Um, now again, we could have done it this this way instead. Um, and we could just kind of do it like that. Because like I said, once once we hit that return, uh, it stops doing the rest of, of the function. So either way. But we definitely want to break out of the uh, uh, break out of that. Um, the other thing you want to think about is if for some reason this didn't work, is what I like to do is I always just like to return five just in case. Um, have it return something. But again, think about the logic of it. Um, don't want to go too far into that. I want you to try and come up with that on your own. Um, so yeah, so see what you can do. And uh, yeah, good luck.